Hi, everybody. I'm Tad Lowe. You know, there are a lot of people that say that today's music is real junk. Well, tonight we have got proof. People playing with a discarded shovel, a toothbrush, and would you believe this, a ceramic banana? Yes, that's right. They put on quite a show recently in New York. Take a look. People think the age of inventing is over. I think this is a wonderful show. Almost anything could be turned into an instrument. Whether or not it's music that you like is one thing, but you can't say it's not music. My interest is not so much finding sound sources as it is finding objects that bear some relationship to instruments visually. Violin made from a hammer. I found the shovel, I think, at 34th and Madison in the summer about five, six years ago. I love the creativity. Using any any object as a musical instrument fascinates me. It's beautiful and it's interesting and it has a sense of humor. I wanted somebody to be able to ride their instruments, you know, to be able to ride uh, themselves. <laughs> so it seemed logical to put put them on the trumpet instead of carrying it. I wish I was a uh, horn player, but you can hear a kind of. kind of a bugle thing or a tuba type thing, you know. We have a lot of fun with the instruments. Once in a while it's good to do something ridiculous. <laughs> you know, that makes a piano look incredibly boring, you know. And that event is based on a new CD and a book by Ellipsis Arts. Now, what's exciting, joining us now is the man who can play a shovel like no one I've ever seen before, Ken Butler, who we just saw in the outfit. Amazing. I'm wearing now. How did this Thanks. all come about, Ken? I was in my basement in, in, in a small house in Portland, Oregon, yeah. found a hatchet, put it to my chin and realized that it was actually resembled a violin and then I put some strings on it and it started that See, way. So people have been playing this, you've seen people play saws before, right? Which always yeah. struck me as a little weird because that's a, a sort of a household hardware object. Yeah. But tell me what you have here. This is taking well, it to a, a whole new this level. This is a broom, a uh, broom guitar. And uh, basically I'll show you, it's got a string on the broom and a badminton racket. I'll just give you a little quick demo. It has to be plugged in, but nice. I can play a little, just a, just a little demonstration okay. of what it sounds like when it's amplified. <laughs> So you can actually have a concert, and if things get messy, you can just actually clean up as clean well. Clean up the stage a little yeah. bit afterwards. All right, what do you got a, here? How about a golf, a basic, your, your basic golf club. Okay. Also kind of played a little bit like a sitar, uh -huh. a little bit the, the tabla sound, and then a kind of a bending the string. Now, let's see, this thing, you could have like a song uh, anytime you, you hit a hole in one or you got you made par right. Those football players, every time they go for the end zone, right, they're doing their dance. There this you would go. be yeah, great. Yeah, every yeah. bag has one of those. You know, you do a little there number. Go. There you go. All or right. a possible tie-in with a golf club company. Absolutely. Now, what's this? This, this is, is uh, originally, this was, let's This is see. a hockey stick, uh, part of a, another part of a golf club, some other tools and uh, various uh, kinds of percussion devices. I'm just going to guess here that uh, people probably don't like lending you their stuff. <laughs> it might end up disappearing, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, anybody seen the broom that we lent to Ken? People do leave weird stuff on my on my front porch, you know, so this is, all these little things make different sounds. <laughs>
also going to be plucked like a cello. Right. You know, I remember, uh, I think it was when I was a kid, you know, they taught you to make a kazoo out of, like, the toilet paper... Um, toilet paper roll. Roll, or right, with some tissue paper. Or a comb with some tissue paper, yeah. But you're taking it to all well, new levels, I mean, right? Well, I mean, in me, it's, it's, a, it's a little different idea because I'm really looking for objects that bear some resemblance, some shape. Oh, my gosh. That uh, this yeah. is a little this is a little dangerous for network television. Yeah, what, now what is that? For cable the original, it's actually, that's actually it's, two it's, real guns? No, they're, no. they're plastic guns, uh, plastic guns, but, but the, the guns have the... A, the right shape to uh -huh. make a nice instrument. And this has kind of a violin-like sound. <laughs> can you make something out of, can you make an instrument basically out of anything? Well, I mean, what do you I, look I, for? You could, well, I look for things that bear some relationship visually to the form of an instrument. So it's not necessarily, I'm, I'm not necessarily looking for sound. Uh -huh. I'm seeking in a way some kind of an object that has some sculptural uh, okay. quality or character. And so you, you are, are you classically trained uh, I took a, a viola lessons when I was a child, right. but mainly got into uh, uh, building these things. It's kind of an integration of sculpture and music, really. So it's a it's a mixture of art forms, really. Yeah. And what about do you do you teach this to kids? Do they bring I in do an workshops. Object? I do workshops and and performances in schools uh, all over the five, uh, you know, all yeah. over the place. Sure. And now before you open this one, uh, have you, has there been an object that you really wanted to do I'm looking and, and you for, couldn't? Uh, it didn't happen. I'm looking for the right snowshoe. It's hard to find one uh -huh. snowshoe. There aren't too many one-legged uh, trekkers. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, so I'm looking because uh, a, a snowshoe would make a nice cello. You know. Okay. But uh, I've, I have a 300 instrument, so I've, I've pretty much covered the gamut. Yeah, in less, right. in less okay. Of so what is this? It well, looks this seemingly this, like just like yeah, a normal it's, it's an, umbrella. It's an umbrella, yeah. and then when you plug it in, uh, there is a string that's in the inside. So as you you can kind of get, get sound by shaking it, and then you can kind of pluck the oh my pluck the string as you lower the umbrella itself. <clears throat> And then you can bow it, of course, with the, the bow like this. Wow, nice so, finish okay. there. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Ken, that was unbelievable. Of course, nothing you'd really want to play out in the rain with your all of your electrical yeah, charges true, in here. True, true. Although, true. again, talk about a big finish. Yeah, now that's that's right. Tell me now, there's a there's a CD that's out. There's a CD. I have a CD uh, on uh, John Zorn's Zodic label, T Z A D I K, called okay. Voices of Anxious Objects. Excellent. Which is just that with a full band, uh, a f 16 page booklet with pictures of everything. Quite right. a nice. It came out very nice. Ken, thank you for coming. Okay. <laughs> if you're in the New York area, yeah, uh, I'm performing the next three Fridays at the City Core Atrium right. C Space. And people can bring objects and bring them up to you at the end of the uh, end of the show. We'll give it a try. All right. Thanks, Thanks a lot. A lot. <laughs> okay.